This is Out There, a story of ultra recovery. My name is David Clark, and this is my story. You know, maybe you've never been addicted to drugs and alcohol, and maybe you've never been, you know, morbidly obese, but my guess is that you, you've struggled with, you know, the fear of change and you have struggled with those things that you know hold us back and keep us from being who we really can be the the ultimate us that exists deep down inside and you know by sharing the best and worst of, of what I've been through in my life you know it's my hope that it'll speak to you and that it'll create that spark that you know becomes a raging fire and and will fuel you onto anything that you can possibly dream of that's why I wrote this book and that's why I hope you'll take a look at it and see if it speaks to you. You know, 29 years old, I owned a, a multi-million dollar company and I thought I had the world by the balls. But, you know, it turned out that the world had me by the balls and, and I didn't have a damn clue how to live life, much less be happy. I had to learn that, you know, after I almost destroyed everything I had. The story isn't necessarily about running or necessarily about alcohol or drugs or weight loss, although it has all of those things in it. It's a story about learning how to live life later in life, a story about you know, breaking it all down and, and figuring out a whole new way of looking at things, a way that, you know, is peaceful and calm and, and doesn't require all of this noise and effort and outside things to, to try to find a moment's peace. Some wonder why my life went so extreme in the other direction once I found fitness and once I found happiness. You know, why run a hundred miles? Why push your body that far? Um, these are questions that aren't easy to answer, but I've done my best in the story to try to describe my mental processes and what I've went through and, and why doing things um, that seem so extreme uh, can bring me balance and, and have brought me peace and a level of quiet calmness that I just never had all those years when I was just lost. I stood by and did nothing as alcohol and drugs tore everything I loved away from me ripped it out of my hands and threw it in the ground and I just didn't even fucking care. You know, I can't even imagine that I allowed myself to fall that far. But it fuels me today. It reminds me of how crazy I let my life become. People think I'm crazy because I go run 100 miles or go out in the middle of the woods and run for hours on end. Bullshit. Crazy is drinking every morning. Crazy as drinking as your wife and kids stare at you in disbelief and watch you as everything just falls apart. That's fucking crazy. This ain't crazy, man. This is living. I wasn't a 320 pound alcoholic by accident, man. I wasn't a drug addict by accident. It's the way I thought, the way I viewed life that got me in trouble. And I didn't have a problem with drugs and alcohol. I had a problem with living life. Hurt, humiliation, anger, fear, depression, pain. Stop running from those things. Start using them as tools, leverage for change, to take an action. There's a person inside you who is so strong and so unbelievably powerful that you could never even imagine it. That person is there. There's no doubt about it. That person exists in every single human being. The sad part is that we're taught to run away from that person instead of run to it. Because standing in between you and that powerful you is pain. Pain and uncomfortableness. That's it. If you're willing to charge through that, you will find that strength. You will find that person who's never been discouraged, who's never, ever dreamt of giving up, ever. That is the essence of who we are as human beings. 
All you have to do is be willing to endure what exists in that gap between where you are now and where you want to be. We all have amazing stories. Mine might be a little different on the surface than, than yours or, or the next person's, but we all have been through a lot. No one gets through here without scars. Hi, my name is David Clark, and this is my story, out there, story of ultra recovery.